I would like to take a time to thank my subscribers for tuning in. Those who are new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button for further info and updates. Connection TV, the people's choice for hot topics. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be talking about Trinidad G Unit gang leader, Cohen Phillip, aka Fresh. So before we get into this, I will advise you all to get yourself a nice cold glass of orange juice and sip it as we continue the story. So ladies and gentlemen, when you hear the name G-Unit, the first thing comes to mind is the rap group G-Unit with 50 Cent, Lloyd Banks, Tony Ayo, and also Young Buck. But ladies and gentlemen, this is not about the rap group G-Unit. This is about the Trinidad gang by the name of G-Unit. And the leader by the name of Cohen Phillip, aka Fresh. Well, in 2007, Fresh lost his life due to violence. And also in the papers had the story of what, what took place. They claimed that Fresh attended a party on September 16th 2007 and upon leaving that party he was ambushed and riddled they also claim he went to the party with a female friend she managed to get away from the when the bullets was flying and stuff like that also on other news reports they're saying that he was called to the party by a friend. Someone constantly keep calling him all day before the party. And then when he arranged to come and say he's going to go to the party, he was, after leaving the party, he was ambushed. He was met by two men. That's what the news said with a man with a semi-automatic and a man with a 9 millimeter where they showered him with bullets or over 20 shots i guess the news or the the police due to the shells on the ground they get to know it was two pistols or whatever was used in the situation that's why they can say it was two men also a woman firefighter was shot by accident in the face and was warded in hospital then it have other news platforms saying that his brother said that Fresh knew sooner or later he would have lost his life because he summoned his closest soldiers and he told them there's nothing they could do to protect him or save him. When it's his time, it is his time. Which means whenever his number is called by God or it is called, he told them. He says there's nothing they could do to protect him. When is, what is to happen is to happen. He told them that was before, it's either days before or was before the situation. And his brother said, due to the life that he was living, he knew sooner or later it would have come to him. His brother also said that they had a priest peace treaty with other gangs and stuff like that and the government was helping along with the peace treaty by offering them contracts to either doing construction and stuff like that so that the gangs could earn a check so that they wouldn't have to go out and do violence and robberies and stuff like that so after that peace treaty and people start to do the contract work and stuff like that the brother said it seems like other gangs and gang members become greedy over the money because they did it for the money they didn't do it really for the peace it seems like he said because people start to get greedy and wanted more money and guess what it spiraled right back to violence again it went straight back to, to violence again and also, the news said that 
when the Gione gang was formed in the East Port of Spain area, the Gione gang was one of the most dominant gang within the East Port of Spain. Other gangs was highly respected the Gione gang because the Gione gang was a gang known not to play. If they have a problem, they used to solve the problem and they know how they solve the problem in Trinidad and Tobago. We don't need to get deeper into that. Everybody already know. And they were known to have tattoos on the upper back and also the lower back torso with the name G-Unit. This, his brother also said Fresh was known to... He was, just as his name is Fresh, he lived up to his name by being very well dressed. Jewelry, chain, ring, watch brand name shoes and brand name clothes so it was fresh like the Caribbean will call it fresh so and he was highly respected by his gang and loved by his gang but the way things is in criminal activities there's no one you could trust when it comes to crime there's no one you could trust his brother also said he, it could have been anyone. It could have been his enemies. It could have been the police. It could have been even his own gang members. His brother said. And also detectives on them said that hey, he was already a marked man by gang, other gangs. Because when you are a big gang leader and you hold so much power, your rival gang leaders and stuff like that they will want to do anything to get you out of the way because they watch you as a threat they watch you as anything can happen because if you're the enemy they never know what could happen so this is why we will urge children of Trinidad and Tobago go to school learn your school work and refrain from joining gangs and living this gang life because the old saying what you sow you reap what goes around comes around live by the gun you die by the gun as simply as it is that's why his brother could say he knew sooner or later he would have lost his life because he already acknowledged and understand the life that he was living he already knew that the life that he was living the outcome of the life that he was living he knew whenever you become a gangster or a bad man or whatever you want to call in Trinidad and Tobago you have rival gangs want to do your stuff you have the police want to take you out of the way because you're to the police you're like a known threat to the rival gangs you're like a known threat so he knew the life that he was living as his brother said thanks for tuning in with Trini Connection CV like and subscribe if you're new to the channel smash that subscribe button for further info and updates